time to say enough Sophie Wessex speaks out as she takes new role that belonged to Diana. Sophie, Countess of Wessex, has become the new patron of well-being of women, a charity dedicated to life-saving research into all areas of women's reproductive health. This comes after Diana, Princess of Wales held the role in the 1980s. The latest royal role acquisition saw the Countess of Wessex join a video call speaking with Professor Dame Leslie Regan and women who are working to tackle the taboos surrounding women's health. During a conversation on menopause, Sophie said, We all talk about having babies, but nobody talks about their periods. Nobody talks about the menopause. Why not? It's something that's incredibly normal. But it's something that is very hidden. And I think it's time to say enough. We need to bring this out onto the table and say let's talk about this. The Countess also expressed her delight at being the new patron for the organization. She told those on the call, I'm delighted to take on this role. I have a vested interest in it. Not a woman on the planet can say they haven't had to access support. We've all been there, and it's about time we really had a grown-up conversation about it. Understanding what is going to happen during your life cycles is so crucial and we shouldn't be leaving anyone behind. It's not only about dialogue with women and young girls, it's men as well. This is a conversation that has to be opened up to everybody. Even if they don't want to listen, we just have to get louder. Diana was devoted to the charity from the moment she became the patron in 1984. According to author Tina Brown, it was the organization the princess most closely related to after AIDS. Her involvement massively impacted the reach and exposure of the charity known as Birthright at the time. Ems Brown wrote, her involvement with the charity had attracted stars from the entertainment world. Big names equal big money. They managed to raise $5 million for the charity, which has helped it improve the survival rate of some premature infants by up to 70%. Diana could feel quite proud that the turnabout is due primarily to her enthusiasm, persuasion, and patronage. The former Princess of Wales also once explained her commitment to the charity. To long for a baby and not to be able to have one must be devastating. I don't know how I would cope with that. And if my work for birthright can alleviate that suffering for just one couple, it will have been all worthwhile.